Many of these schemes uh, may be choosing to offer the flexibilities that have been recently introduced or may not. What's the regulator doing uh, in the flexibility space at the moment sure. with these pension providers? Well, that's obviously an interest for people who are going into auto enrolment, but a lot of them are younger. And of course, mm -hmm. the flexibilities are mainly, mainly an issue for people who are approaching 55. But um, there's a, another separate piece of work going on in our defined contribution team generally to understand what schemes are offering. Uh, in the way of the flexibilities that the government, uh, government have introduced under freedom and choice. So we've got a big piece of work underway to do a survey of schemes at the moment. We announced that recently. We're looking at the occupational trust-based schemes that we uh, regulate and at the same time the FCA is looking at the contract-based schemes that it regulates. And we're both looking to find out what is going on in these sch uh, schemes, who is offering what, what are the charges, the barriers and so on that are connected with exercising these freedoms. And, and if you find that they're not being offered, is that something that the regulator would, would compel them to or want to the legislation to compel them to? Well, you're right, we can't ourselves compel anybody to do anything in this particular case. The government and Parliament has chosen to, uh, at the moment, make freedom and choice available and leave it as an option to schemes and to providers as to whether or not they offer uh, these freedoms. We want to understand what is happening there before we decide what the appropriate reaction is. Always we want our decisions and our choices to be based on good evidence and good data.